What's going on, guys? Just woke up this morning and discovered some relatively disappointing news, but I would be lying if I said it was completely shocking, and that is that Bethesda's game, Starfield, which was supposed to originally release in November of this year, has been officially delayed. Now, there's no new release date as of yet. I'm guessing that it probably will come out sometime around the middle of next year, but it has been delayed. Now, like I said, I'd be lying if I told you that I was 100% sold on the idea that it was going to come out in November. Though, for anyone who did believe that, I wouldn't blame you because of the way Todd Howard has been going around saying that the game is basically finished. In fact, he's been saying that for almost two years now, that the game is finished, but it's just being polished right now. Now, if that were true, then I don't think we would be having this delay. Now, it is possible that maybe to his opinion and in the opinion of others at Bethesda, that it was finished and only needed some simple polishing. But it's possible that the recent leaks that came out a couple of weeks ago from the ex-Bethesda employee who pointed out some good things about the game, but also pointed out some bad things about the game, it's possible that his leaks, particularly his comments about the flying not being good. Now, he said that was to him, but he said to his opinion, it wasn't good. And it could be that maybe that was true. Now, if we look at Bethesda's past, they have a habit of releasing games that are in a buggy state and they just fix them over time. Okay, so that's the way they used to do things, but now they're owned by Microsoft. So maybe that's what they were planning on doing this time. And from what I understand, recently a bunch of execs got together, top people got together to look at some of the things that they were going to show in the upcoming, uh, what they're labeling as, as E3. But officially, I think we all know E3 doesn't exist anymore. But that's what they're calling it. That's coming up in November. They were looking at videos of all the things that they're going to show. Some people are saying that some other people who are outside of traditional Bethesda may have looked at the video and said, no, this, this is not good enough. You know, maybe they said, hey, you know, look, we know how you guys usually roll. We know you guys usually release stuff. And though people like the games that you release, a lot of times they're still buggy. You guys have that reputation. Here's the problem this time. We're depending on this game to be heavily associated with Game Pass. And we want Game Pass to be a success. So we cannot release this game the way you guys have released games in the past. We know you guys don't normally, you know, delay games. In fact, Bethesda is known for that. They're known for releasing buggy games, but they're also known for releasing games on the exact date that they originally said they were going to release them. And excuse me if I sound bad. I'm coming down on the tail end of a, a pretty bad cold, but feeling pretty good now. But just wanted to let you know in case you notice that I sound kind of bad. It, it's, it's not the audio. It's, it's me. But anyway, it's possible that they may have said, look, guys, we're just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and just delay this because this game has to be good. This game has to be good. This is the game that we want. We, we, we don't want it to just be ambitious. We don't want it to just be large. You know, we don't want it to have all the elements of a game that could have been great. You know, we don't want another cyberpunk. You know, we need this game to be almost perfect because it's going to be associated with our top product, which is Game Pass. Okay. And that could be what caused this delay combined with the leaks that came out. Maybe those leaks that came out put something in the heads 
of the execs that they met with to show these videos that they're going to show at the upcoming E3 in November. And maybe, you know, a couple of them said, hey, you know, the flying is kind of questionable. You know, this is a game about space. Come on, guys. We, we can't have a game about space and getting into a ship and traveling to different planets and maybe occasionally getting into some, uh, you know, air combat. We can't have that sort of game and have flight sucking. I mean, come on. You know, so anyway, in terms of the game, the chances of the game coming out a better game, that's good that it's being delayed. But the way this whole thing has been handled with Todd going around basically promising that it's going to come out this November, the way that the news was broke, uh, I didn't see the tweet. But from what I understand, the tweet was just some simple little tweet. Just basically kind of like coming out like, by the way, by the way, this game that you've been heavily anticipated. Oh, yeah, it's being delayed until next year. Now, what I wanted to touch touch on earlier, but I kind of sidetracked, I sidetracked myself, is the good news is we more than likely won't run into a situation where people have taken days off to play this game because that happens so often. You know, a lot of these studios will announce they're going to delay a game a, a, a couple of months before the date that they had originally promised that it would come out. And as a result, people have burned vacation days and all that. And some people may not have the luxury of, of backing off of those vacation days. Some might, some might not. So we're way ahead, you know. And, 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 and we're a long way from November right now. So more than likely, we won't run into that type of situation. But it's delayed. And, you know, we just, we just have to accept it. It's not good news. I have to, I, like I said, I have to be honest. There is a part of me that's disappointed. But given Todd Howard's past for, you know, I have to be honest, just telling lies, in my opinion, uh... I kind of reserved that part of me that kind of expected that maybe it would be delayed. But that's the news that came out this morning. And look, if you're disappointed about this, and I'm sure that a lot of you are, just look at it this way. The game should be a better game than it would have been had they released it in November. Obviously, there's something that they noticed about the game that needed to be improved. You can best believe they did not do this because they wanted to do it. There was a good reason for doing it. I just have a problem with the way it was handled. Uh, during an interview uh, with, I forget this, this guy's name. He's an IGN uh, employee. Uh, they, have an, uh, they have an Xbox podcast. I forgot this guy. I, I can't remember his name for nothing. But he gave him an opportunity to back out and to just say, hey, you know, are you sure about this November date? And Todd Howard just stuck to it. The, the guy said, look, I know the date is probably penciled in. Todd Howard said, no, it's, it's inked in. It's not penciled in. It's inked in. You know, so you're telling people that, yeah, this is coming. You can expect it, you know, but apparently the game was not at a state really at that time that he could guarantee that because if, if, if it were at that state, then we wouldn't be sitting here talking about the fact that the game has been delayed. But anyway, that's, that's, that's all I have, guys. I just wanted to touch on that briefly. I was a little bit shocked by the news. Didn't expect that this morning. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, have a great day, and as usual, stay safe.